Hi everyone, this is Stallion at the Pick a Fence Greenhouse and Gardens and I hope you can see me over my plants. I have two plants here today we are going to make cuttings off of. These are plants that I have in the house year round and come January I make cuttings off of them so they'll root and I'll pot them up in March in the greenhouse. So this one's Picanthus Emerald Lace. This is a really cool ivy type. It kind of trails. It's kind of got a grayish. I'll get you a close up of it here in a minute. These things really root. This plant really roots very well. Um, and I and I do a couple of different methods and I'll tell you about them in a minute. This is the Aptinia. It's a kind of an ice plant, succulent, also called Dorianthus Mizzou. And this one seems relatively is it easy to make cuttings. And I'm going to do all this today. I'm going to kind of show you how I do it. And then we'll go from there. I'll bring you in closer and we'll see how this goes. Any comments, suggestions on the way, just, you know, put them down below this video. I don't use a rooting hormone for these at all. Uh, and last year I had really good success with them. Root the Aptinia in soil. This one, I'll just take cuttings, lay them in a flat with some moisture, and they'll root. Once they root, then I plant them in some soil, okay? But I do not use a rooting hormone on them because they're just that easy to grow. Okay, let's get started. And I'm going to give you a really, try to give you a close-up of what these really look good. This is an excellent, excellent house plant. Uh, and it's just so easy to start your own cuttings. And I'm just going to cut some off here. I'm going to be cutting off the larger cutting. And get a close-up here. As you can see, it's kind of a variegated leaf. Fuzzy. It's purple on the outside, uh, undersides. And when I cut these off, what I'm going to do is just place them in a flat uh, with some moisture. Put a dome plastic lid on them. And they will root automatically without even any soil. Uh, I done this last year. You can also do a root them in soil, but it works both ways. Okay, you can just kind of watch me as I make some cuttings here today. And I'm going to show you when I get done the finished, how many I have. I'm going to really take them off because this is a popular plant. Uh, people just love this one. It's just so, because it's just so pretty. I mean, what's not to like about that? They do bloom uh, lavender flowers. Uh, but, you know, not near as noticeable as the leaf. Here's kind of, there's a one that's bloomed out. And that's what they look like. I'll cut them off, get them off of there. But I'm just going to go through these and, and do some trimming. And I'll show you my progress as I go on this because these guys are just very easy. And I'll cut that off if it's got a old blossom that comes off but that's pretty much it this is an easy growing is like I said and it it'll take some sun to partial I mean I have it in my back patio and it just does pretty good out there it's in a cooler room uh, and uh, the lighting's not the greatest but it still does okay okay I'm just cutting these off I'll probably pull some of these bottom leaves off as I always do and to get them to start, you know, to get them to root. But that's pretty much it on the spicanthus. Here's what I'm going to do. All right, I wanted to show you all my cuttings. Got some really nice ones here. And what I'm doing now is I'm going to just mist in the tray. And this, this method works for me. You can, like I said, you can also plant them in soil. But these will root just like this once I get them wet and get them on the heating mat. I've got to find me a dome plastic lid. This will keep the moisture in and we'll see how it goes. As you can see, some of these are going to be some really nice cuttings to start with. Uh, the leaves will probably have to come off on these bottom ones, like I said, and that'll root real easy right there. Okay? Hi everyone, hope your day's going well today. It is February 1st, 2011, and we are going to do, we're going to plant these uh, emerald lace cuttings that I took on January 24th, 2011. And what I did was I laid them in a tray, sprayed water on them, and they have roots already. I tell you, these are the easiest to root. 
Uh, they don't have a lot of roots, but they have enough to get started. And I am going to be placing them in the peat and perlite soil today to get them started. These will be transplanted come probably in March of some time into four inch pots. So today that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> and I'm just going to show you the process. It's most like most propagation. You pull your lower leaves off and you just set it down in the soil. And then make sure that you have the soil <clears throat> setting around the plant. Okay. But basically that's all we really need to do here. I could uh, also put some redding hormone on them. It's not necessary as these are really easy to grow. Okay. I'm just going to kind of go through this a little bit. Some of these got some really, really large leaves that I'm just going to pull off. Um, so they're not putting their energy in those leaves. They're going to be putting the energy in the forming the roots. There's a root, <clears throat> excuse me, right there. It's coming. Make sure the root gets put under the soil. I'm just going to show you a few. Look at this one. Look how this one has rooted in just those few days. Isn't that something? I'm just going to continue on planting these and I'm going to show you when I get done. Basically, it's just pulling off them lower leaves and sticking them in some soil or, you know, the rooting hormone if you choose to. Really don't have to with this one. I don't um, since they uh, produce roots so easily. I got a few to do and when I get completed, I will come back and show you. Okay? Okay, we have them all planted. All we have to do now is just water them in. And I'm not going to do it heavily because they, this will build some condensation when I put the plastic dome lid on the tray. Okay, These are pretty successful. I do know these will be fine. Uh, rooting, uh, they'll do just, just great. And I'll kind of let you know how they do later on. I'll show you when I start transplanting them, hopefully, later. But there you go. If you got any questions on propagation, if you, you know, have been propagating yourself and you've had pretty good success, I really would like to hear about it. If you, you know, if you just let me know how it's going for you. And questions can be put below this video in the comment box. So, everyone uh, have a great day. And this will be the conclusion of the Swedish Ivy Emerald Lace. And makes a great house plant. Does wonderfully indoors or outdoors. And cuttings is very easy off of this plant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. And I wanted to give you an update on the Emerald Lace cuttings that I placed in the soil uh, back a few weeks ago. Okay. I also have some foliage plant in here. I'm trying to root some of them too, but as you can see, it looks to me like they're really thriving right now. Look how big them are. And they're all they're all rooted. Look at the roots on this one right here. It's actually got roots up higher, which I won't need because it's rooted down lower, but they will die off once I plant them. But they're all rooted. You can see the roots right there. And just wanted to let, give you an update on how they're doing. They're all rooted. They're all rooted in. And it's always good to see that. These will be transplanted here in a couple weeks. I will be putting them in 4-inch pots. So there's the update. Thanks for watching, guys and gals.